Hey everyone, welcome to a breakdown video of the last VR interaction I have had the pleasure of designing. The goal of this project was to fill a gap in my skills, as I was not confident with the Unreal Widget Editor, and I wanted to challenge myself to learn it and create a cool interaction for my VR development portfolio in the process. I decided to create a VR computer monitor, similar to the computer from Prey 2016. I really liked how this system worked in the game, and I felt that its existence as a utility for the player to interact with during the story was an awesome addition. So I designed my own version of this system using Unreal Engine 5. In Prey, there are multiple computers placed throughout the Talos 1 research station and they all offer unique reading material, audio files, and utilities for the player character to interact with as they advance through the narrative. Looking at these different systems, I am assuming that the game designers created a master system that allowed the level designers to place this computer asset into the level and directly tweak its values for the game and narrative. I designed my system to work in the same way. I am now going to give you a high-level overview of how this system works, and how it is truly customizable for a level designer to drop in custom values for use in specific level and narrative of Events. Let's cover the basic user experience first, and then I will go into detail about how a designer could tweak the values available to the user. To start, the user needs to teleport in front of the computer in order to interact with it. They will see a login screen, and from there they can utilize their right hand in order to move the cursor on the screen. They can activate the buttons on screen by overlapping them and pressing the trigger on the motion controller. I have added a color change to the overlap event and UI clicks for when they overlap the buttons in order to add some juiciness to the interaction. Once they select the login option, they will be brought to the UI main menu, which contains three different options. As you can see, this is very similar to the Prey computer menu. In this menu, the user will be able to click on one of these options, which will open a subscreen. These subscreens will allow the user to interact with specific functions isolated inside each type of subscreen. For example, emails allow the user to read text files that might help them solve puzzles or fill them in on the lore of the game world. The files option will allow the user to play specific audio files. What is cool about this is that the progress bar will play out at the same duration as the sound clip the designer chooses to put in. The utilities section allows the user to execute specific functions within the game world, such as opening doors or turning on lights. These computer values are easily edited by the level designer directly in the main project viewport, and they will only need to open up the computer blueprint if they wish to add custom events for the utilities. Here's how it works. Every single text value displayed to the user is editable, as well as the number of emails, files, and utilities they wish to have at one time. For example, I can add another email slot by changing the number from a 2 to a 3, and you can see these options updated on the screen. Currently, the max amount of these buttons you can have is 4. The user can also set the text values of the emails and the computer user directly inside the details panel as well. Just navigate down to the email you wish to change and fill in the new values. You can do the same with the Files tab as well. What is interesting about this piece is that you can also change the file sound inside the Details panel, and the progress bar and text that plays will adjust itself accordingly to the new sound clip. For utilities, they utilize a custom event system directly inside the BP underscore computer blueprint. For example, I have a door that opens and closes when the user presses the Execute button, and I have created a special door BP containing the code that allows the door to open inside the custom event. I can then get a reference to that specific actor inside the computer blueprint, and from there the event will be executed whenever the user presses the execute button. It works the same way for the light, or anything else a level designer would like to program into the computer utilities. I also created a retro-futuristic computer mesh for this project, as I intend to build upon this interaction and use it in one of my future VR games. If the user gets close to the screen, they can see the CRT scan lines material that I created and drop directly into the widget in order to give the screen that old-fashioned computer feel. I also created an advanced glass material and put it on the plane mesh directly above the widget in the blueprint in order to make it look more realistic in the game world. That is all I have to show off for now, and I plan to continue building upon this interaction by adding a passcode lock option to the computer, as well as improving the animations for the movement between different subscreens. But that was out of scope for this current project timeline. I would also like to make it possible to have an infinite amount of emails, files, and utilities inside their respective submenus. Special thanks to my patrons for their continued support, and I hope to release this interaction as a downloadable template for my top tier supporters sometime in the near future. Finally, I will be creating a tutorial series for you to create the same interaction yourself. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.